As many as 40% of Americans will develop cancer in their lifetimes. So all of us here today have at least one thing in common. Our lives have been touched by cancer. 20 years ago, my mother died of breast cancer. At that time, we could not say the word cancer out loud, nor could we share her struggle with others. Much has changed since then. The stigma has been shattered. Knowledge has been expanded by harvesting and applying new advances from research, which is medicine's field of dreams. And we now have an entire generation of citizens who call themselves cancer survivors. We are writing a new national prescription to improve women's health, putting an end to past inequities. The result is the greatest focus on women's health in the history of our nation, and it is providing hope for a healthier future for all American women. We're dramatically increasing funding for women's health, putting real financial muscle behind our commitment, and we've mobilized all agencies of government to work with us in partnership with the private sector. We are putting women's health issues on the front burner where they belong, from including women in clinical trials to doing the research needed to develop new treatments and prevention strategies for diseases that affect women, to transferring defense and space technologies used to spot missiles 20,000 miles away in distant skies and to see the surface of Mars to improve the early detection of cancer in women, to empowering women to make smart health choices, to ensuring that today's healthcare professionals are trained to address women's health needs and we're waging an all-out assault on breast cancer.